future, if not right now. Uh, and another one of these is the ability to optimize the stuff that you do for search. Again, content is great if people can't find it when they search, and search is still the dominant way people look for stuff. Uh, and you saw the statistic early, 78% of people use search when they're doing product research. Um, it needs to be found. So we need to be able to do SEO, search engine optimization, uh, which I define, uh, actually I took this definition from uh, Lee Oden, who runs a company called TopRank, which does search engine optimization for PR. Uh, a set of methodologies that make it easier for search engines to find, index, categorize, and rank web content. 90% of search engine optimization, if you, uh, how many of you took journalism classes? And know how to write a good and solid inverted pyramid news story? You already do search engine optimization, right? <laughs> because the key stuff goes up at the top. And, and you're making sure that the right words go in uh, that, that people are looking for. And it's, it's really not rocket science. The worst thing search engine optimization has led to, um, in my opinion, as an old guy, uh, is that it has eliminated the pun as a headline. <laughs> headline writing used to be so much fun. Um, I used to work my very first newspaper job before I got into the corporate side. I was with a small community newspaper, and it was a daily. Uh, and uh, the sports editor, who went on to work at the Los Angeles Times and covered the Lakers and became a big deal, but at the Thousand Oaks News Chronicle, uh, he was the news editor, and he was the master of the headline pun. Uh, in the next community over, Oxnard, California, which is a coastal community, uh, every year they had a regatta, a yacht regatta, uh, and this year it happened to be on election day. Uh, and he had a photo, a beautiful color photo of all the colorful sails going by, and the headline said, heavy boater turnout. <laughs> <laughs> Can't do that online because nobody's going to search for that. Right? It has to be Oxnard Yacht Regatta. Yeah. Right? That's how people are searching. Uh, there are three keys to search engine optimization, obviously keywords. And that's where we act, exercise direct control over what we write and how we write it. There's also making sure that the website is optimized for search, that there are not elements of the website that inhibit search. Um, I have met people who say, I can't get my website to show up in search results. I've, I've got the keywords and I'm doing everything right. And, and you call the IT department, they go, yeah, we have a robots.txt file on that site. <laughs> We're blocking it from search engines. Go, well, you can't do that. <laughs> you want to be ranked high. Uh, and then, particularly with Google, uh, the whole thing, I don't know if any of you remember when Google first emerged and, and before that we were using AltaVista <laughs> and HotBot, right? Yeah. And, and here comes this little bare website with hardly anything on it called Google and the results were so much better. And it's because it was based on relevance. It wasn't just that the keyword was appearing more than any other keywords, but other sites that were talking about that topic were linking to the site that appeared. So it was relevant. So it's really important to get the inbound links. Right? And those are the three elements of having the results of your of a search for, for your kind of content produce your page uh, on the first search engine result page, SERP, SERP, is a search engine result page. David Meerman Scott, who writes the Web Inc. Now uh, blog, he wrote a great book called um, uh, The New, uh, the, uh, help me out here, it's just uh, uh, Marketing no. and PR, The New Rules of Marketing and Public Relations. Yep. He also wrote an absolutely brilliant book called Marketing Secrets of the Grateful Dead. So. <laughs> <laughs> you can talk about that later, I am an old deadhead. Uh, but I have received over 25,000 email story pitches over the last two years. Products, solutions, tech innovations. How many resulted in stories? None. I go to the web and I search for information on the topic I want to do a story on. And so do reporters. Right? So you need to be aware of this. According to a study I looked at, 100% of journalists Use Google to research a story. You want to show up in their story? You had better turn up high on Google. Right. So what a communicator can do, first of all, is focus on the content uh, and not on the pitch. Because people aren't going to look for the words that are helping to sell a product. They're looking for the words for the content that addresses the issues that people are looking for. Second, make sure that the search engines can crawl the site. Again, I, you know, it's, a, it's an infinitesimally small percentage of communicators who know what a robots.txt file is. But if, if your IT department has put one on your site, you're hosed. Um, 
On the other hand, those could be very valuable. I have created content on the web for clients that they didn't want people to be able to find through search. No, no problem. I'm just going to put a robots.txt file in that directory, and that basically tells the search engines, don't crawl this. Okay. Uh, make sure that you are applying search engine optimization techniques to all of your content. That means you need to create tags for the pages that you have created. If you're writing blogs, usually the blog uh, utility, the content management system, has a place that you can put tags. Also, if you can assign your blog post to a category, the search engine treats the categories like tags. Uh, I remember working with a hospital and they said, do a search for our hospital name. Um, and it was a blog search and it was on technorati.com. And I said, well, let's search the tag. And they said, no, 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 just a regular search. So I, I did. And the first result that came up was one that said, if anybody witnessed the car accident that happened out in front of Community Hospital last Wednesday, please let me know. I need it for insurance purposes. Mm -hmm. It had nothing to do with the hospital. It's just that the hospital name was at the beginning of the post. When somebody tags at Community Hospital, what they're saying is this is what the post is about. Mm -hmm. So tags are very important. Uh, titles. Links. Make sure that the hyperlink, you know, click here does not serve your search engine optimization. Right. If the hyperlink is actually the name of the company or the name of the brand or the product or whatever, that's much, much better. Uh, the copy itself, alt tags for photos. I mean, I'm guilty of this when I'm in a hurry. I just ignore the alt tag. But you know, for search engine optimization purposes, I'm, I'm just hurting myself. You do deal with those alt tags. Uh, we talked about this earlier before, but pay-per-click is part of the world of search. You get the organic results, which is strictly based on inbound links and the keywords and everything. But at the top and along the right-hand side on Google are the ones that people are paying for. If you really need to be found, like those New Zealand Fishery Associations did, uh, consider pay-per-click. It can be an incredibly effective way to, to be found. Uh, don't exercise guesswork around your keywords. Find out what words people are using to search for related content. And there are services that you can subscribe to for free that will send you this month's ranking of keywords around your topic. Uh, and if you ask me what they are, I'm going to tell you, I can't think of them right now. But I subscribe to a couple, and if you really need to know, you can email me, and I will send you uh, a, a link or two. Uh, but I'm going to tell you the best way to get inbound links is also the best way to get people to follow you on Twitter. People say, how do you get a lot of followers on Twitter? Be interesting. Mm -hmm. okay. The more interesting content that you create that people will want to share, the more inbound links you will get, the higher you will show up in the search engines. It is that simple. Uh, these are, according to Lee Oden at Top Rank, and if you're not reading the Top Rank blog, um, I find that to be must reading on the SEO front. Uh, various things that you can do to earn inbound links and, and to enhance your search engine optimization. Uh, I don't put this up here because I expect you to read it all, just to show you that there is a ton of stuff that you can do to enhance the search results of your site. Uh, now this